Ball one high. Peyton Eels leading off. Field singles, so he's one of the fastest players you'll see. And he works the leadoff walk. Got him to swing. Eels takes off, slides in. He's safe. Somehow got his foot back on the bag. 2-1. Bender goes out and gets it into center. Gio DiGiacomo will make the grab along with the pitching coach, Brady Kirkpatrick. Up the middle. Coming over is Eels. Fires over. Not in time, but Shears beats it out for a two-out base hit. In the air. Left field. On the dirt coming in. Chad Bourne makes the catch. It's a ball in the air. Left field, no doubt about it. MJ Metz continues to hit home runs. Take your time, Mets. Duke leads one to nothing. No need to worry about running the bases when you can take your time on a leisurely stroll. When you poke it over the fence for the home run. One of the keys is going to be you cannot allow Mets to overly extend. And you saw right there, full extension out over the plate. He knew it when he hit it. Mooney on the ground. The hop gets by Dooley. And he's going to go for two. Alex Mooney. That's what he does. They needed that from him. And now it's a double straight up. They had some time to think about it. A 1-1 one -one pitch that gets away from Bodine, so Mooney heads to third. The ball is high, so Fisher is going to head on down to first, so the Blue Devils will have runners on the corners. Clear defense. Oh, he gets him to chase. Two away. Gets it in the air, left field. Going back. See ya, Alex Stone, a three-run home run. This dude is hot right now. Blue Devils lead four to nothing. Bring on the hard hat. We said the ballpark has changed. Just 96 miles an hour. It hit at 380, and you're getting some help out there with the wind as he puts on the popular white hard hat for the home runs. The record before was 90. And now it's 106, excuse me. That ball is gonna be fair down the line. Lucky heading for two. And he'll slide in with a leadoff double. 11.1. Ball four is outside, puts runners on first and second. Got him. Wow. Little flare left side of the field. Mooney calls everybody off, and the runners are left stranded. Excuse them from work, school, <laughs> everything. That ball gets past a diving Ty Julie off the bat of Tyler Albright's point. Squares around again. It gets past Bodine. Both runners will advance. And with the infield all the way up, it's going to get through. Ground ball gets through. Giacomo's coming home. He touches. No play at the plate. Two more for the Blue Devils. They're up six to nothing, and Storm comes through. Compete in the batter's box. And ball four misses. Wow. Ball four. So he loads him up. He's back in the box with a full count. Strike three. Big pitch. A little bit more. Shears. Oh my God. Got him. Oh. On the ground. Eels. 
Ruiz on the last play he made. Wow, Huseman comes in, the freshman is nails. Slices that ball left field in the air. She hopped to Giacomo! The Italian Stallion! Touch them all! Duke's up seven to nothing. This ballpark has changed on you. Left field is home run friendly for the first time all weekend. The Giacomo's home run swing and it's kind of going with it. He's running hard like he doesn't know if it's going out. He got it up in the air and the ball just carried and carried just got over. Different batters. This is what you want to see if you're heading into a super regional. <laughs> Damon Lux drops one in down the line. He's over at second base. I can't say enough good things about this guy. Number nine. Pulls over. Charging his dually. He can't get out of his glove. Lux is on third. Trying to punch their ticket back to the Supers. Drops the bunt down. Lux will come home. And what a job by Hebel. Sacrifice RBI. Eight nothing Duke. Do the job. And that's been the mentality as Bashir's walks. All four misses. It loads the bases up. Shallow right coming in. Graham Brown, no. Drops down. Mooney scores. Bashir slides in. 10 0 Duke. Offensively. The Giacomo goes the other way. Stone's going to come around. He'll score. Duke takes an 11 to nothing lead in the bottom of the sixth. Got him. Let's try to get some for the record books. Center field <laughs> sends it deep. Off wow. the wall. Metz is going to head for two. Standing up, Mr. Metz. Right it. 20, so yeah. That's not getting a lot. Stronger. <laughs> They're getting stronger. Solomon's going to come home and score for the sacrifice off Albright's bat. On the ground. Mooney makes the effort. Garrison gets on. Hear the crowd. That ball's going to get down off Derek Bender's bat. Brown rips that ball, drops it into left. One run's going to come home to score the shutout. Is no more. Crowd likes it. That's all they wanted to see. And as we said, the third out has been so difficult to come by all weekend. And... Mijos left field, same spot, gets down. Two runs are going to come in. 12 to 3, Duke. Here, Gilmore. Hey, how about the fight? You know, this is Duke's game. Duke is about to punch their ticket. But again, you're just seeing the fight of the Chanticleers. Cameron Guangarina, the batter. Softly on the ground. And that's going to be it. Pack your lunches. Pack your hard hats. The Duke Blue Devils have punched their ticket to the Super Regionals for the first time since 2019. Yeah, a team that didn't even make the tournament last year. They're heading to the Super Regionals. They're going to face Virginia in Charlottesville. 
best of three. Winner of that game punches their ticket to Omaha, Nebraska for the Men's College World Series.